Can you believe we have made it to the last and final book of the Come Back To Me series? Actually, I don't know if this is the last one. She could be writing more at the moment, but this is the last one that is currently released and out. Which is Fall On To Me, the fifth book from the Come Back To Me series by Mila Gray. This one has a trope that I'm not the biggest fan of, but before we get into that, we have to take our shots. Today's beverage, I have brought some Capicol, which is the non-carbonated version of Milk Kiss. Cheers. Let's get started with the video. For the cover, everyone say with me, it gets a 3 out of 5. I want to say though, I really, really appreciate the fact that they did not change the art style whatsoever. Aside from the color and the actual photo of the people, the design and style stays throughout the whole series and it just looks so aesthetically pleasing together. I'll leave it somewhere on the screen. In this book, we have another dual perspective with a singer named Luna and Will, who is the older brother of Zoe from the previous book watch over me so luna has been getting threatening messages from her stalker so her mom decided to hire her a bodyguard will never really understood why anyone would want to be in the spotlight so when they first met they did not get along not until they slowly let their walls fall and let each other in into their personal lives but will is aware that nothing can happen between him and his client but once the threats get worse their relationship is on the line and they are doing everything that they can to not lose each other this is another one of those tropes that I am not really a big fan of, which is the bodyguard and celebrity trope. So I was a little worried about studying this one. I was afraid that I wasn't really going to like it, but the way that she writes the story just felt so realistic. Just like the other ones, this one also has some trigger warnings. If this was not part of the series, I don't think I would have picked up this book at all, but it's still good, so I'll be giving it a 4.5 out of 5. The realistic aspect of the story really comes to the characters, which I'm going to be giving a 4 out of 5. I felt the anxiety, fear, burden, pressure that Luna was in. What I really liked about the characters though was how different Luna and Will are. They have lived their completely different lives. They struggled with completely different things, but despite not understanding each other's struggles, they still complemented each other's weaknesses really well. The only reason why I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 is because at some point I was just so frustrated with the two. They're just so opposite, but at the same time it works. I just love how the author was able to bring two completely different broken people and bring them together without overdoing it. It was also nice to see how Will was affected by his abusive father, especially because we know how much it affected Zoe from the fourth book. Overall, it's a 9 out of 10. Again, I probably would not have picked this one up on its own if it was just a standalone, but because it was a series, I had to read through every single one, even though they can all be read as standalones. I definitely don't regret reading it though. It was still really good. It's just not my go-to trope. So that was it for my review of Fall Into me which was the fifth book from the come back to me series i would definitely pick up another book of hers and if it's part of the series then you already know it is going to be pre-ordered i definitely recommend every single book in the series especially the third book run away with me just look up the trigger warnings before you get into any of them and that was it for this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment down below i make sure to sing with them and i'll see you guys next time with sarah bye mm -hmm.